How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. It is Saturday here in Key West, and it is a lovely looking afternoon. I've got the little boat in the water. I um, went for a ride this morning with Tipsy, and I actually ran into a bunch of pilchards, a uh, little live baits. I didn't have any of my fishing gear with me. We were kind of just cruising around. Um, I came home, got everything I needed to get done for the day, and um, got the afternoon free, so I figured I'd head out and try and catch some snappers. I've had a friend of mine that's been asking for some fresh fish, so maybe we'll head out and see if we can find some snappers. Figured I'd bring you along. What a lovely afternoon. Got my friend Justin with me, you know him. <coughs> He's only got dive gear on, but we'll see if he knows how to use the rod and reel today. Wind's supposed to be laying down, it looks beautiful. all the bait this morning we'll see if it's still here so they were like hugged up against these uh, mangroves earlier oh there they all went I right, just keep it in gear that way I can catch up to him, hopefully. Neutral. <laughs> Load it down. Oh yeah. Just pull it straight up, yeah. A lot of small ones got stuck. Oh, got a pinfish. A little bonus critter, actually. I'll try and get these out. I may throw one more time. Get in there, buddy. That's good, leave it in neutral. I don't want it to suck up the mud. Huh? So you can leave it off for a sec. Open that live well up. Bait was always that easy. Got at least probably 50 or 60 baits in there. Let's go see if we can catch some fish. I um, I found a spot a about a month ago. I didn't have the cameras with me, believe it or not. I don't film everything. I found a spot a couple months ago. It's just really cool, kind of covered and a lot of tunnels that go through it. I was actually diving, but there were so many snappers. I wanted to go back and fish at Rod and Reel and see what it looks like. Let's get over there and check it out. Oh, it's low tide. I don't know. If, I don't know if they're going to be here. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, it's like crazy low tide. This is a bunch of them. I just don't know if there's going to be many big ones. Dang it. Yeah, it's like really low. So the tide's a little lower than I thought it was, not paying attention. Um, we're gonna give it a go for just a second. We may have to move. Crazy cool little spot though. Toss a couple baits, see if we can find one or two. It's a monster! Oh, my line almost fell all the way out of the ice. Can I just go back? Nah, I don't see it when it falls. It's about 11. Toss it? Yeah. Don't tell your friends. If I have to. Just let an informant go back in. Yep. Yeah, he's like, did they come in peace? He's like, they sent me back. Oh, okay. It's funny, it's like, where do the big ones go? At low tide. Add them to the flat? Hookarooski. Are you putting bit, little baits or big baits? Medium baits. Oh, there's pliers there if you need them. Ah, oh, reef shark. Really? A little lemon. No, is that a lemon? Oh. Oh, that's a little reefy. Um, the, the other day when I was in here, there was three or four of them, and they were all. There was two that were big enough to make me very uncomfortable. Little pitchalingi. Really, I'm dancing with the devil here. <laughs> the shark. That and the amount of branches, but it's funny because like the second this hits the water, there's 400 12 inch or 10 inch snappers chasing it. It's almost. You got it. Let him swim out. It's almost like. Oh. This tree is very inconveniently placed. Yeah, these mangroves are very <laughs> keep so much water. If you don't want to. Ooh, that's a real one. Oh! Oh, he come a button? Yeah. Did you see him? Yeah, he was nice. Yeah, that was that one was like 14. Dang. Dang it, man. That was a good one. It was. I could hear it. I was on a larger boat. Was it on someone? Yes. <laughs> Once they get fired up, it's mayhem. This is really cool, though. It's funny because some days it's all big ones. Some days it's all small ones. It's like, I wonder where they go. Or are they just around the corner? Man, I wish it was open parrot fish season. Some bruisers down there. They're literally all just right there. Little 
through the gill trick. It's kind of nice if you just throw a really big one on there because the little ones can't get it, but if a big one comes around, he'll take a swipe at it at least. First fish in the boat. I got it. 12 inches. That guy's about 13. I'll tell you right now. 13 and a half. Yeah, he's closer to 14 actually. Pinch lip. He's about 14. I can't believe I forgot a knife. Still gonna bleed him. Man, you got the hot ham, bro. deeper in here. There you go. The sniper. This guy. He's a solo. I'm having trouble with the live well here for some reason. Everybody's angry at me. Unfortunately, we're losing our baits here. But Justin's still fucking away at him. I'm going to go over to a different spot. reason neither live well is working unfortunately we're gonna fish until these baits are out I can't tell if he's big or wrapped or foul hooked Oh, hooked. Yeah, it's not bad. He's a keeper. At this point, I better start keeping him. <laughs> Will you hand me that measuring stick? Back here. Gulf State, they technically only have to be 10, but I don't like to keep them under 12. So technically, they have to be 10, but I don't keep them under 12. So for some reason, now the back live well is working. I don't know what's going on. 11 and 15 sixteenths. It's your lucky day, buddy. We're gonna try another spot now that we got another live well working. I don't know what's going on with the battery, but. Did you see that? I heard it. You got a big bait or a little bait? That was a big bait that got hit hard.
cook them in the tail or the body or the belly, try and mix it up. Some polypropylene. The old do the gill. Do the gill trick. We've got enough slack. You can probably swing the tail over there. Tail, the stern. Mangrove snapper. Oh, head back now. There you go. Some mucho grande. Dude. And this whole time, I just thought you were a mediocre diver. I'm thinking deep water fishing. But... <laughs> fish out here. The nice one. Oh, he drug me. He drug me into it. That's a good one, dude. That's a nice one. Is it like 15? About 14. We are going to call it. Tide is extremely low. A lot of the spots I, I would like to get to, I can barely get to and there's no water there, so not really holding any fish, but I think we've got five or six legal snappers, so all in all a great afternoon. So we've got our snappers. We don't have our snappers today. We have them on ice. <laughs> These are obviously not them. Um, most of them, uh, most of them are going to be going to a friend, and as you know, I don't like eating fish right away. Uh, as it is, I do like them to rest. But we have some leftover wahoo, uh, and a couple of you guys were asking for um, kind of our take on poke bowl recipes. We are kind of all over the place with it. Poke bowls are kind of like pizzas nowadays. You put on it whatever you like. Um, a lot of people don't even do it the traditional way anymore. So we did a little, we do a little twist on it sometimes. I actually sear the wahoo just barely. Um, I slice it into little medallions, uh, put a little bit of pulper domes blackening on it, just quickly sear it, 20 seconds on each side. Uh, I dice it up into cubes, green onions, um, a little bit of soy sauce, uh, sesame seeds, black or white, um, sesame seed oil. And I think that's it. And then the toppings we typically go with. Um, you got enough? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Pickle so, onions are a must. And sometimes it, like I said, we just kind of go with what we got or whatever you like on top of it. It doesn't matter. There are no rules. It's your food. You don't want to eat it. Just put my whole hand in there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Just shove your hand in there. You just told me there's no rules. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we've got our Wahoo. We like cucumber. We use the, the hothouse cucumbers. A little bit of jalapeno. Oh, no, no, no. You got even more than that. What? That's you get a whole one. Oh, my gosh. We each get a whole one. I felt like four avocados today. That's good. <laughs> Is it? And we already said avocado and pickled onions. So I'm just going to dress mine. Let's just see what it looks like. Oh, gosh. Mine doesn't look too bad. Madeline is going with the health, healthy option, no rice. <laughs> no rice. Well, I gotta have my rice. I'm saving rice for dessert, so I don't know if it's healthier. I would love to know if anyone else eats your mayonnaise. Rice. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm from Texas, and one of my like childhood Weird. desserts um, was my mom would make rice and then put milk, sugar, and butter in it. And it's just like... There's not actually mayonnaise in it? It's like poor people dessert or something. I don't know. <laughs> Where did the mayonnaise come from? You made that up. Like, oh. I don't know why you call it mayonnaise rice, but... Anyway, that's what I grew up on, so I still eat it to this day. Ooh. Oh, goodness. 
Look out. <clears throat> hey, get your elbow out of here. I'm struggling. And some sauces that we use. Chipotle mayonnaise. This one's really good. Sir, Sir Kensington. Kensington. This is another good one. It's kind of like a... It's almost like sriracha soy mixed with almost a little bit of like sweet uh, chili. Do you want some of this? No. No, not tonight. I've got some, some jalapenos in there. Pokey plate. A pokey plate. <laughs> what are you playing over there? <laughs> Clash of the Clans? <laughs> well, I'm not doing a taste test because I already know it's delicious. We've had this like multiple days in a row. Yeah, this is our third time eating these this week. <laughs> we had a decent amount of walking, but as always, any questions, leave them in the comments. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoy this one. I think it's a shorter episode. Fishing was kind of slow. <laughs> We had some technical difficulties, but <laughs> any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for coming along. See you on the next one. Cheers. Wow, Tipsy.